how to define credentials at a folder level in Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.452.2. Now, many times when we create credentials, we'll have them created at the global level, but let's say I only want to have credentials available to a specific folder. Well, what we have here is we have two folders, folder one and folder two, and we have some credentials set up as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. So within folder one, let's see how the job is actually using the credentials. So we'll click on configure. And when we take a look at the job, we are pulling in a credential named my global secret. And we're also pulling in a credential named folder one secret. So where are these defined? Let's go ahead and go take a look at the global secret. So we'll go back up into the dashboard, manage Jenkins. And let's go ahead and click on credentials. And what we'll see here is we have a credential, my global secret defined at the root of the controller. So this is my global secret. Now let's go and see where the credential for the folder is defined. Notice we don't see folder one secret listed here. So let's go back up to dashboard, click into folder one, and then click on credentials on the left nav. Now this looks similar to what we just saw over in the root of the controller. We can still see my global secret because it's available to us because we are under the root, we're folder one under root. So we can still see that credential, but then we can also see that we have credentials available to us at folder one. So if we click into this, we'll see folder zero one secret. So that's available to us within this folder. So if we go ahead and go back over into our job, we'll click on folder one, go to the test job. Let's go ahead and click on build now. What we'll see as this runs is that it's masking the matches for folder zero one secret and my global secret because we're using the credentials helper to load in the environment variables. And then it echoes out masking those out. So that means it was able to find the my global secret and the folder one secret. If we go over into our folder two, if we click on folder two, let's take a look at the job. It's similar to our folder one, but what we're gonna see here is we're saying my global secret and folder two secret. So if we were to run this job, what we're going to see is basically the same output that we saw for the job that was over in folder one. Now, before we go and test something else out, let's go ahead and verify the existence of that folder two secret. So again, we'll go to folder two, click on credentials. We'll still see my global secret, but when we click into the stores scope to folder two, then we see folder two secret. Now let's watch and see what happens when we make a change to the job within folder two. We'll click on test job, click on configure, and let's see if we can access that folder one secret. So what I'm going to do is I am going to change my folder two secret to folder one and reference the credential folder zero one secret. And just for completeness, let's go ahead and change the folder 02 to 01. And now let's go ahead and click on save. So what I expect to happen within this job is I expect it to fail because the folder one secret does not exist within the folder two hierarchy. So let's go ahead and click on build now. And if we take a look at the output of build run four, we're going to see here that we have an error folder zero one secret because the job within folder two cannot see the folder one secret credential. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.